Haven is the founder of Developers Academy Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to learn about operators in Swift and how to manipulate variables and constants in Swift. Now, in the last few videos, we have been um, talking things slowly, taking things slowly, a step the way. So, from this video on, we're going to moving faster into learning the Swift programming language because as we move on, we have the foundation, right? So, I would like to thank you all for coming to this video and watching the last few videos. All of your comments, all of your questions are incredible. I love to see you learning and thanks that you learned so much in those videos and I love to send you even more video tutorials okay and make sure that you enter your name and email in the page previously so I can send you even more video tutorials in this series and teach you how to build iOS apps so in this video let's create a new playground for to demonstrate how to use operators in Swift we'll click into get started with a new playground and for this pl uh, playground I'm going to name that operators and then we'll click next okay I will place it right there there we go all right but now um, for this operators what are the available operators we have in Swift just like math we have very basic arithmetic operators we have multiply, uh, addition, subtraction, division, and modulus. So for each of those, we'll use things like plus, minus, star, slash, and percentage to uh, demand to denote the modulus. Okay. And in case you forget about arithmetic, modulus means that you want to find the remainder of something is divided by something. Okay. And how about in in this video, I would like to demonstrate this one by going going over Google and search for um, solar system picture, okay? And then let's find this image. I think I know what I'm going to find in this guy. This guy over here. All right. And what I want to do is I want to make this one a little bit smaller. Okay, because we are going to do some calculation over here. And don't leave me yet because we will not do rocket science over here. Just want to uh, show something. Okay, first I want to have the distance from Mars. Where's Mars? Mars to Earth. So how about we have var, right? Var Mars to Earth. And that is maybe just 100, maybe 100 light years or something. Okay, I don't know. Okay, just demi just demo this feature. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> and next, we're going to have something like from Mars to Venus. Okay, and for this one, how about we use the lights? Okay, Mars to Venus. So we have a constant, right? Let is a constant. Mars to Venus, and for that one, how about we have um things like maybe three hundred. Okay, from here to here, maybe three hundred. All right, and now I want to find out the distance from Earth to Venus, and we know maybe it is 200, but how about to use the minus, we have var, right, Earth to Venus equals, now how we can use this, we can just actually 300 minus 100 like that, okay, but I want to do something more, I want to do things like Mars, the distance from Mars from Mars to Earth minus the distance from Mars to Venus, okay? Because how about as things scrolling, right? <laughs> Not scrolling, but uh, rotating or something, okay? It uh, circulates like this. The distance does change, right? Ac according to uh, some science, I don't know. Okay, so we want to do Mars to Earth minus Mars to Venus like this just like that it's just that simple right and then we'll have negative 200 okay negative 200 it is not correct so we have to do Mars to Venus minus Mars to Earth Mars to Venus minus Mars to Earth okay. see I fail about arithmetic 
<laughs> All right. Next, how about we have the uh, var or let earth diameter, and that thing is maybe one thousand something. Okay, and then we want to do one multiplier, which is the difference between the um, earth the diameter of the earth and diameter of the sun. Okay, let multiplier equals. Uh, 10,000, 100,000, something, and then we have let sun diameter equals maybe uh, we can use earth diameter times multiplier, multiplier, right? All right, just like that, multiplier. Did I did I type anything wrong? Can you see that when I do it like this, this one it has more multiplier okay it should be multiplier multiplier right so we see that if we type it wrong then it will have an error okay that is the thing that caused a lot of trouble and for that one it is called a syntax error okay there are many kinds of error in a programming okay things like syntax error things like um, logic error and logic error is usually the most important, like the most, the hardest thing ever in the programming. Well, why is that? Well, how about you want to find the uh, distance from Earth to Venus, okay? And you, just like before, we do Mars to Earth minus Mars to Venus, and it is negative 200. So that is wrong, okay? And that is called a logical error, because we don't know about that, okay? Because we did logically wrong, okay? Cool. I hope that it makes sense. Now, I want you to check out the code challenge right next to this video and try out the code challenge. In the code challenge, you will do a lot more about operators and manipulating this. Okay? And I see you in the next video. Go out there every single line. Until next video, I see you. And go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, create new ideas, and contribute to the world. Make your difference today and never, never give up. I know that a lot of times when you try out the challenge, you try out some new things, you will get stuck, you get frustrated. And it is just like that. It is designed like that so that you will have more experience. You grow, you learn new things, and you have more skills, better skills for you to apply a new job, a new career. Can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.